Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Othello and today we get to hear from Othello in Act 4, Scene 2. At this point in the play, he wants both Cassio and Desdemona dead, but Iago has has told him that he should, or advised him that perhaps he should strangle Desdemona in their bed, and Othello kind of likes that idea. And Iago has said that he is going to take care of killing Cassio. So Iago has been feeding Othello all of this stuff, all of these ideas about Desdemona and Cassio sleeping together, but nobody else is is aware that this is going on and they are watching Othello just sort of spiral out of control and everybody else around him is like, what, it, what, who is this? This isn't him. This isn't the way that he normally acts. So the beginning of Act 4, Scene 2, Othello is talking to Amelia, who is Iago's wife, but also sort of Desdemona's handmaiden. And remember, it was Amelia who found the handkerchief, gave it to Iago, who planted it in Cassio's bedroom, who found it and then gave it to Bianca, which is also sort of driving Othello crazy because this lovely piece of fabric that he had given to Desdemona is now in the hands of a prostitute. So... Othello is now talking to Amelia and he's sort of grilling her for information now because he's still, I think there's still a part of him that wants to believe that it's not true. So he's asking her like, did you ever see the two of them together? And Amelia's like, no. And he's like, of course you've seen them together. And she's like, yeah, but they weren't doing anything bad. They were just talking. And he's like, you never even saw them like whispering to each other. And she's like, no. And he's like, she, they never made you leave the room. And she's like, no. And he's like, okay, go, go get her. So Amelia goes to get Desdemona, and while she's gone, Othello's like, Ugh, she says that that Amelia, or she says that Desdemona is honest, but she's not necessarily all that trustworthy. So I don't know. So then Desdemona comes in, and Othello tells Amelia to stand right outside the door and sort of stand watch and let them know if anybody's coming. And then he starts drilling Desdemona, and he's like, "Are you are you honest? Are you faithful? Are you true? All of these sorts of things." And she's like, "Yes, yes, I am. How could I not be?" And and he's like, "You're a liar. You're false." And she's like, "Who am I false to?" And he's like, "You're just get away from me." And she says, "If if it makes you angry that my dad called you back." And is making you leave Cyprus like don't take that out on me that's that's him that did that it's not me and Othello says had it pleased heaven to try me with affliction had they rained all kinds of sores and shames on my bare head steeped me in poverty to the very lips given to captivity me and my utmost hopes I should have found in some place of my soul a drop of patience, but alas, to make me the fixed figure for the time of scorn to point his slow and moving finger at? Yet I could bear that too. Well, very well. But there, where I have garnered up my heart, where either I must live or bear no life, the fountain from the which my current runs or else dries up to be discarded thence or keep it as a cistern for foul toads to not and gender in turn thy complexion there patience thou young and rose-lipped cherubim i here look grim as hell so he's saying she she doesn't know what he's so angry about and he's he's frustrated with her for not knowing what he's so angry about because he, there's part of him that's like she should just admit it by now um but he's like if if any of these other things were the cause of my anger i could have put my anger aside and dealt with it but the fact that it's this the fact that that I have given my love to you completely and totally, and you've taken that and you've destroyed it by sleeping with someone as base as Cassio? He's like, no, no, there's no patience left for that. And and she's still doesn't quite know what's going on, and she she sort of begs for forgiveness, and, and he he's not hearing it until he finally calls Amelia back in. He's like, okay, we're done here. You you can talk to her. Like, thanks for standing watch. I'm done. And he leaves. And Amelia and Desdemona get to have a little bit of a conversation, and then 
of course Iago has to come back in because that's what he does and we'll get into what happens in those discussions tomorrow. I will see you then for more. Mwah.